Hello and welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to finish off a couple of things in the header. So in the previous video we left off, we created the background, we added the nice little gradient effect to the background as well and we added in the logo on the right on the left hand side. But what we need to do now, we need to add in the your website slogan text underneath and then we also need to add in this search field here on the right hand side. So what we need to do now, we just need to jump over to Dreamweaver. So what we're going to do, we're going to come over here to the logo div we created in the previous video and we're just going to sort out the spacing. So if we just move the search box down slightly and then we're going to move the H1 down a line and then move the closing div down one line as well. So now we've created the space in here, we're going to use the following, we're going to put a P tag in and then inside of the P tag we're going to add the text in the Photoshop document. So your website slogan like that so if we just preview that in design view you can now see it's added it down here if you actually look at the slogan here you'll notice that it's actually quite far down compared to what it is in the photoshop design um, so we need to fix that problem first so if we open up the style sheet so what i normally do uh, when i create websites is i create the following i create a star which means every element and then inside I set the margin 0 pixels which basically means it will give every element 0 margin and then we'll say padding 0 padding it just zeroes out all of that so when you come to make your design you don't get these problems occurring like I've got here um, so now if we go back to the index page you can now see that the your website slogan has jumped up right underneath where we're, where we're expecting it to be so we need to now style this particular bit of text. So if we just go to the code view, so the way we're going to target this one is we're going to say any div with an ID of logo that has a P tag, do the following. So if we just go to the style sheet and come down just underneath the logo H1, and if we create logo P, and we just move up the page so you can see this. So we're going to say, we're going to say float, to the right, so if we just preview that in design view, so you can now see it's now floated over to the right, and now we just need to kick it off the side here, so it lines up next to the, the M over here, so the way to do this, if we go back to the style sheet, so we're going to say margin right, so we want to affect just the margin right, if we say 50 pixels for now, click on index, you can now see it's kicked off 50, so we need a little bit more, so I reckon if we say 80 pixels and then go to the index, okay so that's probably a little bit too much, so if we just go back and we say 75, okay just a tiny little bit more, so if we say, so if we say 72 that should take us right next to the M, which it does, so we've got that bit sorted, we need to change the colour of the actual text so if we just go back to the Photoshop design we can find out the color so now we're in Photoshop if we just zoom in with control on the plus key and then just hold the spacebar and drag up to the top and here's our text so if we just zoom in a little bit more if we grab our eyedropper tool and if we just click on the text so if we just go down to the palette down here in the left hand corner and the color is actually AC, AC, AC. So now we've got that, if we just go back over to Dreamweaver. So now if we go to the style sheet and then on the logo P, we want to say the following. So color with the hashtag and what was it? AC, AC, AC. And then close that off. If we go back to the design and then if we click away, you can now see that's changed. Um, we just need to find out the font. So if we just go back to Photoshop. So if we grab our text tool and then if we just select the text here, the font is actually Vedana. <clears throat> so we'll use the same font. You can use a different font if you like. Okay, so now if we jump back to the style sheet, so if we say the following, so if we say font family, now what font family will do, it will you select base up to three different fonts. So for example here, if we were to select say this top one here, the style sheet would use Vedana as the first font. Now if people don't have that installed on their PC or Mac, it would then use the next one along, so this one here, 
If that's not in, uh, installed, then it would use a sans serif font. And so we'll just go for this top option here. And if we close that off and just save the page, so if we just go back to the index page, you can now see that the font has changed to Verdana, but it's a little bit bigger than what it is in the Photoshop design. So if we come back to the style sheet, and we're going to say font size, and I reckon if we say 12 pixels, and if we go back to the index page, and that's looking a lot nicer now, about the right size. So if we just preview this in a web browser, so here's the site in the web browser, and as you can see now, the yourwebsite.com is right up on the top edge up here. Now the reason for this is because we added in that star, and we said every element take off all the margin and all the padding, so we reset all the margins and paddings. So as you can see, this is now moved up to the top, so we just need to bring that down. So if we just go back to Photoshop, so if we go to the style sheet, <clears throat> so the actual ID that we're going to change to affect that top, will be the page wrap because that holds all of the content so we use this here didn't we so we use margin zero auto to center it in the page so what this actually means is so we're saying here the top will be zero and the sides will be auto I think I've shown you in a previous video if you do that if you do this this basically means <clears throat> on the top zero pixels on the right make it auto on the bottom, zero pixels, and on the left, make it auto. Now, this will do exactly the same, keeping it dead center. So what we're going to do, we're going to add some margin on the top here. So if we say 20 pixels, and then if we just go back to the index page, you can now see there's 20 pixels of margin on the top of the page wrap. So if we now preview this in the web page, so if we just refresh, you can now see that's now been kicked down from the top of the uh, of the page. So the next thing we need to look at is now the search box over here on the right hand side. 